So our group will present to you a mathematical investigation with the problem, how many squares are formed when squares are chained diagonally? So this is how the problem is up. When one square is formed, one square only. When the square are chained, it forms one, two, three squares. And when these squares are chained, it forms one, two, three, four, five squares. When four squares are chained, it forms one, two, three, four, five, six, seven squares. When five squares are chained, it forms one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine squares. So we summarize the data using the table. The first column represents the number of squares chained. The second column represents the number of squares formed. When one square, it forms one only. When two squares are chained, it forms three squares. When three squares are chained, it forms five squares. When four squares are chained, it forms seven squares. When five squares are chained, it forms five. So from the data we have gathered, the conjectures are first, the number of squares of quarks are odd numbers. Then, two, it is an arithmetic sequence with a common difference of two. So when 10 squares are chained, it will form 19 squares. Then, when 11 squares are chained, it will form 21 squares. To justify the conjecture, we use the formula of the arithmetic sequence where M is the number of squares and B is the common difference. We will try with five numbers of squares chain. So, we will just substitute with the first term. The first term is 1. So, substitute here the number of squares which is 5 minus 1 times 2 which is the common difference. So, it will result to 1 plus 8 equals 9 which is correct in our table. Next is 10, which is in the justified, uh, which is in the verify of the conjecture. So we will substitute again with 1 and 10 in the number of squares minus 1 times 2, with the result of 19. So this justifies the conjecture. So after grabbing the data, then analyze it through conjectures, verify its validity, and justify it using the formula. Here is the summary. Number one, when squares are chained diagonally, the number of squares formed are odd numbers. Second, the number of squares form a pattern with a common difference of two, which is an arithmetic sequence.